How serious is the drug problem uh, here in southern Ohio? Uh, why are people turning to drugs? Uh, what do you think we can do to address the problem? So we're here outside of the Bernie Sanders rally in Portsmouth, Ohio, and uh, he just got done talking. He focused actually a lot on the opioid epidemic, which I don't think has been talked about a ton uh, on TYT, so I want to bring it up a little bit. Trump has refused, um, as of a few days ago, to declare the opioid epidemic a national emergency. Can you talk about how it's affected Portsmouth and Southern Ohio? Yes, um, I personally and my family have dealt with the drug ep epidemic. My mother is an addict. My uncle is an addict. My grandparents are addicts. I, it affects every person in my family, honestly. I'm actually um, a social worker. I'm in school for um, in a graduate social work program. And one of the things that we talk about heavily is the, the effect of drugs on our communities. And it is an epidemic and it's something that needs to be addressed because right now we talk about these things as if they are, um, you know, they're criminals. And criminality is just a symptom of addiction. Addiction is an illness and it affects every part of their brain and every part of their life. And so we need to come at it with compassion instead of treating them as criminals and incarcerating them. It's not going to fix the problem. Why do you think there's that discrepancy in this area, why, why people are voting for Trump, uh, even if it's maybe against their own best this interest? Area, this area has a long history of voting against its own interest. It does. I mean, Mitch McConnell's been the senator over there for yeah. ever. You know, I mean that 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 tells you all you need to know. Rand Paul even. He's I mean th these guys are these guys are garbage, you know. Um, I don't know why I don't know why 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 don't I don't know why people don't get it. I think people's heads in the sand a, a lot when it comes to Trump. They don't want to believe it. A lot of people are will never admit that they didn't, that they made a mistake when it comes to voting for Trump. There, there's guys that I they know they made a mistake. They know they made a mistake, but they don't want to admit it, and they're not going to admit it. So I don't know why people don't get it. But you talk about Afghanistan. We talk, They talked about in there about where's this heroin coming from. We know where the heroin's coming from. Why are we there guarding it? We know why, yeah, why is the heroin coming to this country? We don't grow heroin in America. True. Yeah. So a lot of people turn to those things because they have no other choice. They have no hope in their lives, and that's the last thing they have for themselves. And a lot of this problem is caused from monetary things, like there's no job opportunities here. Um, like I'm a recent college graduate and you know I'm gonna have to move away probably just to get a good paying job so these people turn to drugs and you know moving them around because it makes good money especially in this area and it's just like their last thing to do you know to actually make a good living and try to get ahead sometimes and sometimes they get messed up themselves and get caught in it and it's it's really sad because you see good people all the time do this it's it's not like drug users are bad people they, they have legitimate problems too. These are people too, so. And would you say, and do you think that that's from a lack of economic opportunity? I know that Absolutely this not. this region has, uh, you know, higher unemployment rates than the rest of the country. Ohio in general has higher un unemployment rates than the rest of the country. Can you talk about the l economic opportunity or lack of in the state? Absolutely, in the state it's pretty good, but you've got your major economic centers, you know, we're 100 miles away from everywhere here. Um, so it, it's really slow. The job market is not great. Our major employers are you know, deteriorating. So like the A plant used to be huge here. My grandfather worked there. He made great money doing that. And those jobs just don't exist anymore. The Department of uh, Energy is you know, cutting funding to them. It's hard telling how long that'll last. We also have the college here and the hospital. And that's our main like, uh, you know, businesses. And all the small businesses have been beat out by these giant Walmarts and it's there's just no money flowing through the community to revitalize it.